So welcome back then to another edition of Coach's Corner. I'm joined by Radio 2 coach Mark Saunders once again. So Mark, it's been a few weeks since we last spoke. You've had three single game weekends since then. Let's start with the first of those, which was here against the uh, Slough Jets. A little bit of a different game, I think, than what we'd seen so in the season so far before that. A tight game, both ends of the ice, and just three goals scored in the game. The Raiders, though, came out as victors in that one with the 2-1 scoreline. Your thoughts on that game against the Slough side with a very similar setup uh, as here in terms of a junior system and feeder? Yeah, it was a game full of speed. It's what we wanted. Uh, that's the way we try and play. So it was a battle of two teams that uh, not necessarily looking for the physical side of things, but want to play that kind of fast, connected level of hockey that I, you know, I suppose is, is easy on the eye to, to, to the neutral, I suppose. Um, yeah, we played hard. They played hard. I think that, I've said it to a few people. I think the first period was over in about 23 minutes flat. Like there wasn't many stops in there, and it was um, yeah, it was a good game. I mean, personally, I think we should have been you know a few goals clear with the chances that we had. But um, Shepherd played well on on the night, and yeah, we managed to get it done with 2-1. Um, so yeah, it was a good it was a good start. And then the week following that, a win this at the time, Oxford City Stars came to town. An older, more experienced team compared to the Raiders, but and you were punished for a poor start, conceding three in the opening period. Uh, but the team showed incredible character to keep fighting and eventually find a way in front in the third. Yeah, I mean, they caused us a lot of trouble. And, and I said to the boys pre-game, there's no team that will come to your building like a team that's hurt, that a team that wants their first win. And we fully expected them to come out hard, and they did. Um, we really had to kind of double down on a couple of our kind of key messages that we're trying to keep strong in the in the dressing room and make sure that we stay true to task there and you know thankfully we clicked in a third period and, it, and the game was kind of put out of, out of reach pretty quickly and I think we got one late in the game there as well so I, I never really felt like the game was out of control too much but there were some sticky points there being 3-1 down you kind of like if this gets out of hand we you know we could be fighting uphill a little bit more than I would like to but yeah not, you know they played very well and again they got their win the next night that they you know that they deserved so you know good for them but yeah two points for us selfishly that we wanted and we earned on on the Saturday so yeah an another good uh, another good game in the in the end yeah and I sort of uh, a few points this season I compared to previous uh, Raiders two teams and and how they have reacted and I think that's another situation you can tell the difference I don't think quite would have added in them to uh, to be able to come back together and uh, shut out the Stars, particularly in the second and third period, in that, and complete that comeback. Um, just a word on last weekend's, another disappointing result in Chelmsford against the Chieftain side. To be fair to them, have found a little bit of form as of late. Uh, what do you thought, think of that game? Did that reflect uh, an informed side of Chelmsford? I think Chelmsford played very well on, on Sunday. Sometimes you're going to get beaten by a better team than you. We've That's part of the game, that's part of the season. You have to accept that sometimes. I, don't, I think we sold ourselves short. In large moments of the game, we were wasteful with our, with our chances, and that's stuff that we've got to learn from, right? It's, you know, uh, you win or you learn, and we need to get that process of learning back, and we need to understand that, you know, there's messages in a game that you lose like that, um, and, uh, you know, we need to get back on track, and we've got some tough games coming up against, you know, Streatham, Bristol, there's a couple of silent games there coming up, so they don't get any easier. And this, this league is proving that on any night, anyone can beat anyone. And I've said that already. We need to come to work. And if we don't come to work and a team hits form, you know, it, it, can, be a, it can be a tough one. But yeah, there's, there's no reason why we can't beat any team in the league. So looking ahead, them the one game weekends continue. And as you said, it's a, a tough one against the league leader, Streatham. Um, you know how to run them close. The preseason games reflected that particularly here. And... Um, we know that they can be beaten after Chelsea managed to beat them on their home ice a couple of weeks ago. Uh, are you feeling confident? And having only met them in the first couple of weekends and time since then and many games for both sides to probably settle into the season, are you expecting a different sort of game? I hope so. Um, I hope it'll be of the speed type. Um, I hope it'll be a fast game here. Yeah, you know, they're a, they're a great side and you know they deserve it at the top of the league it doesn't happen by accident so they you know they're doing a lot of things right they've got a lot of experience there and a lot of good players but we've got a lot of good players here as well we've got guys that kind of you know learning their trade in, in the NHL one division and and are enjoying the test every week so yeah the experience that they have and you know the hunger that we have it should be a good running on Saturday I'm looking forward to it um, and like you said it doesn't get any any easier than the league leaders right so yeah we're looking forward to the test uh, just to mention, I know you mentioned about 
guys stepping up into the, the, the national side. It's uh, having a one game weekend has sort of allowed a bit more uh, players to do that without affecting you guys too much. Have you uh, noticed any of the guys coming back into, into this squad showing any of the benefits of, of that sort of experience yet? Yeah, very much so. It'll be, you know, I know obviously speaking to Sean, like he's hit really hard with injuries. We've got our injuries as well. It's it it's hard to get that kind of continuity in your lineup. Yeah, the, if the opportunity is there and there's guys that are working hard enough and well enough in our team, then they're going to earn that. You know, no matter what. And that's part of the development process that we have here is being able to offer that pathway for players that want to achieve that. So it is there, and it, we're proving that it's working because players are going up and down. And ultimately, both teams will develop by players that are hungry to keep their spot in either team or work into a spot um, from either team, right? So, yeah, it's kind of a... It's a nicely rounded circle of everybody working hard. And obviously, you know, we had six or seven guys out on, on Sunday here in Chelmsford. We've got a couple of guys nicked up tonight and, and, you know, banged up this week. So, yeah, it'd be nice if both teams could get back to a full roster um, with the guys that we signed in the summer. But injuries are um, part of the job, shall we say, and part of our job as coaches is managing that and making sure that the team are on task no matter who's on the ice. So, yeah, I'm, I'm really pleased the opportunity has been there. Um, but I would also like everybody um, back in the lineup as as they should be. But injuries are an ever-present. So, yeah, we'll, we'll see how we go. The opportunity is good. Just, uh, just a couple more, if I may. I don't want to take obviously, too much of your time. Um, just wanted to, to touch on the Bristol game in a couple of weeks. Um, new into the league, uh, just a one game for them so far, but looking pretty impressive with uh, putting 10 past Milton Keynes. And uh, you're set to, I think, be the first game at their home yeah. rink when it, when it hopefully opens uh, in time of next week's game. How do you approach next weekend's game, um, especially with the occasion, but also knowing very little about them? Just take them like the next team on the list it's another team for 60 minutes that we have to go and beat they can only put six guys on the ice we put six guys on the ice doesn't really, you know they'll have a full building i'm sure they will it'd be nice to play there first but those are kind of external factors that really you have to kind of take on board and and get rid of very quickly because they're they're factors that aren't going away they can't impose on our gameplay we have to make sure that we're there to commit to our team ethos and what we're about and deliver whether it's at bristol at Streatham, at Gosport, where, at Solent, sorry, or you know wherever it might be, we need to be on task, right? So, yeah, I'll be in. It, you know, I'm looking forward to seeing the new rink. Um, I remember the last time I played there, at the old rink. So I'm looking forward to seeing the new place. Yeah, obviously, we we'll send best wishes to the guys as they uh, the last few weeks before we get open there. So, yeah, looking forward to it. If we're the first guys in the building, it'll be brilliant. Cool. And then lastly, then moving forward, I'll be opening up the opportunity on these these uh, interviews for Raiders fans to submit questions. Um, this week's going in for you from Ed Brad on Facebook who asks simple question really uh, what drew you to the opportunity at the Raiders? Just the support network that's here um, I've worked with Ben uh, for a long time at, at the England programme I've worked briefly with Sean in the conference set up there and I know that the the way that they're trying to structure a club especially you know with Sean as, as head coach now I know the direction that he's trying to take the organisation in and it was something that I jumped at a chance to be part of um, it's rare that you get an opportunity to be part of a hockey club that is truly about hockey and truly about development and creating that pathway that is for its athletes um, and its player serving rather than serving anything else. So, yeah, I was pleased to get asked, jumped at the chance, and um, I think it's working quite well. Obviously, we're six weeks in. Missed the COVID season, but we are where we are, and I, I think the programme's working pretty well. Um, you see what, compare Sean's answer on that one and see what he says. <laughs> Well, maybe we'll say that for our next Coaches Corner a couple of weeks' time. Mark, thank you for your time. Excellent to talk to you as always. So that's going to do it for this week. And the same more Coaches Corner in a couple of weeks' time.